thanks for clicking on my channel, Joy's Way. I'm Joy. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're a returning supporter of mine, welcome back, awesome person. So today, I'm going to play with my Juvia Spice makeup that I just got. If you are a supporter of mine, then you most likely watched the video before this. It is the stuff. It's still the same day. I just waited for hours later. And now we're going to play with that makeup. I have the Magic Minis by Juvius. I have the um, Eye Sculpt Eye Shelf Brow Palette. The um, Juvius Place Blush Ro um, Rogi Volume 2. I have the Juvius Place um, Bronzed Bronzy Light. I have a new foundation and they did give me um this lipstick and i had a duplicate it's over there you can still see it maybe right here so i pulled mine out but i'm going to use this today all right that is what that looks like and no mirror but that's fine and there are all of the colors so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a brush. This is my Make It Happen eyeshadow by MJ Brush. Not sure where I got it from. And then here is a shade. It is um, Kessie, I think. It's this color here. I'll go ahead and swatch it for you really quick. That's what it looks like. Okay. I'm going to use that as my base. I am standing up. I normally sit down, but I'm trying something different. And I am using my um, phone. I do have a huge mirror behind it, so I can technically, if I wanted to look in the mirror, I could do that too. But I don't like the way that I um, my setup is. I haven't been able to figure out how to um, record and be face on. So that's why I'm standing up. Up. And if this works, then this is how I'm going to do it from here on out. Because once upon a time, I stood up in my bathroom and put my makeup on. I never um, sat down and I didn't use, you know, a blender, you know, all these awesome brushes that we have now. Then we're going to do um, this color here, which is Nana, I think. N A N A. And uh, go ahead and swatch through that. That is what that looks like. I think I'll go ahead and use that same brush. That looks like it's darker than what I thought, so I'm going in really lightly, and I'm going to put it up through here. And I like to just tap it. For me, that works best. I've tried quite a few different techniques, and tapping it and then blending it works best for my eyes, or for me personally, what I like. Okay, go in a little bit more. Oh, I like that. Juvia's Place, if you do not have any Juvia's Place, for one, if you buy makeup, like, you need to buy some Juvia's Place because they're, like, when they have their sales, it's, like, normal ColourPop price sale, like, prices. So, um, if you buy ColourPop at the normal price, then hit Juvia's Place up because, you know, they have some really good palettes, so I wouldn't keep buying from them, like, seriously. But they're like a, uh, like a drugstore, like, I don't know, a little bit better than a drugstore brand, but they're not, like, high up, like, you know, Charlotte Tilbury or, um, anything like that. But, yeah, I recommend it if you, um, and I'm not affiliated with this brand. They're not paying me to say this. I wish they would, though. <laughs> no, but, I mean, seriously, who wouldn't, right? But, um, no, they're very good. I would not recommend it if I didn't personally like it myself. I feel like there's something going on with my eyes. Uh, like I also have my handy-dandy mirror right here, so if i got to do a close-up, I can. I also have my lighting all um, situated in different spots to try to give it... Um, the brightest effect. I do have windows open, like, as you can tell, they got plastic on them, but I haven't put, um, any curtains up, and that's because, like, I was like, hey, I'll, because I found my sewing machine, and we bought, um, some needles, because I needed needles or whatever, and then I got this bright idea that I would, because I had some fabric, it's actually right here, um, let me see if I can get it, <laughs> but I have this, this fabric right here, 
and I've had it for a while now, and I was like, I can make some really awesome curtains. Yeah, right, I ain't never gonna make no damn awesome curtains. One of these days, but not today. Okay, so I haven't really played with blues in a while, so I think that the next color I want to use, um, actually, let me go, this is like, um, Ify, it's I-F-E, Ify, maybe, and then this is, um, yeah, Yajidi? I don't know. Oh, no, this is purple. Oh, well, we're going to swatch both of them anyways, because I like totally just did that. I thought they were both blue, but one is purple, so that is good to know. So there are them colors. The purple one was the Ify, or um, I don't know, and then that's the other one. That's super cool. See how pigmented these are? Holy camoly. So I'm going to pick a different brush. I have like this box, ColourPop box, with all my clean brushes in it. And that's how um, I'm able, that like stained my fingers. I just wiped it on my uh, thingy here and usually it takes it right off and it did not. And that's why I love, love a Juvia's Place because I don't even have eye primer on. I don't have to have eye primer on. You do not need eye primer. All right, so we're going to use this brush. It is um, Farah Medium in Gold Shading 55E brush. That is what that looks like because this is so pigmented. We are going to go into it light-handed again, and I'll put that right here because it is holy camoly pigmented, and we're just gonna do this. Uh, see, like, can you tell, like, how this part here is darker than up there? Sometimes it's hard. I should have tapped it. See. I just sat here and told you that tapping works best for me, and then I go and do something different. Do what works for you. <laughs> like, seriously, do what works for you! Okay. That is super pretty, and I don't want it to be too dark, because I'm going to use that light blue that's um, above it. That's sparkly. I'll show you in a minute. So... That's why I don't want it to be too dark. I really need to play with. I really need to play with the other three Juvia's palettes that I showed you that I still have that have been sitting in my drawer for like a year or longer, probably. I'd have to go back and watch the videos, but I recorded them videos too. So, <laughs> yeah, I wonder how I did that. Huh. I don't know if you've seen it or not, but there was like a line that didn't have no makeup on it at all. Super duper weird. Now, I don't know if any of you that watch me um, have this problem, but my right eye tends to be a tad... Is it my right eye? Let me look at this again. No. My left eye tends to be a tad bit bigger than my right eye. So, um, when I'm doing my makeup looks, if I'm really wanting it to be... Like as close to sisters as possible, then I have to like pay a lot of attention. And a lot of times I don't. So I guess what I'm trying to say is if you have different shaped eyes, like one's bigger than the other one or whatever, you know, like don't let that stop you because that used to stop me, believe it or not, that used to stop me when um, I first started doing makeup looks because I was like, I can't do it the same way on both eyes if I try to be like, you know, get them to match or whatever. So now I just try to get them as close as possible. All right. I think, oh, for a second, I see that there's like that line right there. I don't know what it is, but it should be blue. And it's like, I wonder if I scratched my eye or something. Huh? I don't know. You'd be surprised what I do in the middle of the night when I'm sleeping. So I want to use this color. Yeah. I'm going to use this color right here. I'm going to go ahead and swatch that for you. That is super pretty. Oh, that is beautiful that. Oh, let's try this brush right here. This is AOA Studio um, F16 USA. And let me see if I can get this. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Not all shinies do that. Where you can put it on very easily with a brush so that's awesome but I think I'm going to need my mirror I'm going to need a closer up mirror for this 
All right. I think I've been talking way too much. I'm going to have to edit this down. Oh, it's pretty, right? And then let me try to blend it in with the blue. All right, so I think now what I'm going to do, because this is like 15 minutes in already and I still have so much to try, so I'm going to go ahead and pause you and um, finish my eye look because I uh, technically I'm going to be using these three mascaras, which is two of my Tarte mascaras and a Cover Girl mascara. At the moment, I don't think I'm going to use eyeliner, but if I do, I'll show you. I'm going to try to shorten this video as easily and as quickly as possible. So I'll be right back. Alrighty, so done with the eyes. Now we're moving on to the foundation that I got. Um, I don't know. We're going to see if this is going to work or not. Because this is, um, like, I've already gotten two. And I explained it in my other video, but I'll do it again. The color, this color is, um, I think it's Mariko 710. So I bought the one before it, and that was way too light, so then I got the one that's above it, and that was like I had a little tan going on, so it was way too dark. So this is the last time, and I still feel, as I'm putting it on, because I did, when I first got it, I did pop it open, get a little bit, and put on my face from like here down to here, let it dry, but I still felt like it was a little bit too light, but I'm thinking a little bit too light is better than a little bit too dark or a lot too light. So I'm thinking I'll be able to make this work better. We'll find out. Um, after I put this on and I let it dry, I will go outside and I will take some pictures. I don't know if I'll post them in here or not, but I do do that for myself. To see if um, something is going to you know work for me or whatever, because sometimes you know if you don't record videos, like sometimes you can um, get a foundation and you have all these lights on you, and plus your natural light, and it may look like as you're recording that it's your color, everything may be looking good, and it looks great in the video, but the moment you take your ass out that door. There is no looking great. <laughs> That's when you'll find out if it's like too light or too dark or whatever you did wrong. So, so I put this a little bit of squirts and I just took the rest of it off the back of my hand. So I'm just going to make sure this is all blended out. And I do not have um, concealer, but I really don't like concealer, so we're just not going to wear it. Alrighty. Okay. Gotta make sure you get it in that hairline, too. I have a problem with that. I have a problem with getting it in my hairline. I have a problem with making sure I take it down far enough. Because I don't want it to be all the way down my neck. I don't like that. I don't know. Like, I just don't. I don't know. I look like. I feel like it's too light for me. I don't know. We'll find out though. I'll take a picture. So then we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump into the bronze. I'm so excited. So, like, all of the stuff that I've put on my eyes, except for the mascara, is like, um, and the lipstick, because I've tried the lipstick before. But that is what I got in my mystery bundle. So that's why I'm going to wear it today. Which is, I didn't even think about that. I ate blue and red, whatever. I don't care. Um, but the rest of this is all new to me. First try, first impressions. So that's what that looks like again. And then there is that. We're going to start with this lighter one right here. And uh, put it there. Oh, I like that. I bet you this is the cool toned one. Like in my other video, I guess I said, I think this is the cool toned one. I think this is the warm tone. And I think most of the bronzers that I have are warm toned. So I like this. I bet you I've used this bronzer a lot. Because 
I don't want it to be too dark and I don't want it to look like it's my face is dirty, you know, like it is not my goal here at all. At all. So. Alrighty, let's go ahead. Oh, wait a minute. Let me put some up here. I'm trying to remember where everybody bronzes at. Because I could just do my cheeks and call it good. Alright, let's see. I like that. I think it's like the perfect for me. Alrighty, alrighty. I'll just keep playing with it because it's new. So then to the GPS blush. That looks like. Alrighty. And that too has a mirror. I think earlier I might have lied and said they didn't. I don't know. I'm going to have to go back in. Because I haven't even um, edited that video yet. So I am curious. Alright. So I've got to find a blush brush. Oh, I have a. I've been wanting to use this brush. We'll use my. It's an e.l.f. brush. This is a, um e.l.f. highlighting brush, and I'm going to use it for my blush brush. Because I have other brushes that are, I don't know where they're at right now, the ones that I use, like, every day. But here are these colors right there, and I'm going to use this one right here. And I'm going to put it up here. Oh, that's going to be pretty, I think. And it goes on, well, I'm also putting it on very light-handed. Because everything I've ever tried from Juvia's Place has been very, very pigmented. Now, if you're wondering why I put it so far up here, is because I'm 43 with maturing aging skin. And I watch professionals on YouTube, and they say you should do it this way. So I said, all right, I'll do it. And I've been doing it that way since. And you know what? I think that it works because, like, other people have seen me do it or have asked me, and I told them. And some some people even on YouTube have been like, "Oh, Joy's done this, so I'm gonna do it." And then they do it, and they're like, "Oh my god!" And I can see a huge difference too, because it just like makes your face, you know, because gravity pulls everything down, so it just makes your face look like it's supposed to be up here instead of down here where it really is. <laughs> Does that make sense? But I like that. I like that a lot. That's like. That's like the perfect pink for me. Oh, I'm so glad I finally ordered it. I am so glad that I actually had money for once, even though I don't have a job and I really want a job and I'm getting pissed off because I haven't found a job. But you know what? I forgot that uh, Christmas is in like five fucking days. So yeah. Now let's do the brows. Um, most people do their brows before they do their eyes. I am not most people. So if you're looking for order, that's not me. And then I have a, what did I do with it? What is that? I think I'm going to use this AOA Studio E114 USA brush. And that does have a mirror too. Um, I'm going to start off with this. Oh, can't even see. These are the colors. I'm going to start off with that color there. Because I think that's going to be my color. If not, then I can go into the other one. Or not brighten it up, darken it up. My eyebrows are like a guessing game. Like, um, seriously, I'm not really good with my eyebrows. I was learning my eyebrows until um, I burnt half of them off. And then, like, now they're, like, different sizes, different shapes. I don't, I'm, I don't really want to, like, pull anymore or try to do anything. So I just call it good. And I'm like, whatever, if it don't look good, I don't give a fuck. Because there's not many people out there that are going to come to me and tell me about my eyebrows. Like, so I worry about it. And then if they do, I'm just going to think that they're fucking jealous, so. Alrighty. I apologize, this video is going to be so damn long. Is that it? Is that, oh my gosh. So we are down to this, and let me tell you what, this is the, um, I think it's called C.S. La Vie, and it is a beautiful, like, pinkish red lipstick. I love it. 
I did like, I believe it was like last year, like right after the accident, because I believe I put in a bunch of orders right before my family had their accident. So I had orders coming in and I believe Juvia's Place was one of them. If not, then I placed the order after the accident or whatever. Um, probably for me to have something to do, but I did get a Juvia's Place order and I got, I don't even remember. I think I might've got a mystery bag or something, but I ended up getting a couple of red lipsticks. It is like one of the most beautiful shades. I mean, look at it. I love it. The only problem with this particular lipstick is it doesn't dry down. Like, I mean, it dries down a little bit, but it doesn't dry down the way I want it to dry down. And so to me, it's more like a gloss instead of a lipstick because I like my lipsticks to stay put. Like, I'm getting some of my teeth. And that's just for me talking and you shouldn't get lipstick on your teeth just from talking. But I do love this lipstick. It is gorgeous. Now, I love the whole look. Although, don't mind my hair. I am not, um, I'm not going to brush it today. I put it in a pony and then I took the matted up hair. That's why there's all these pieces. And, um, I braided it because... I'm lazy and I don't want to. Like tomorrow I'm going to wash my hair. So I figured there's no sense messing with it today because I wash my hair weekly. And I messed that up when we went to Texas. So tomorrow is Wednesday. No, today's Wednesday. So tomorrow's Thursday. So I was doing it on Saturdays, but now I'm doing it on Thursdays. I don't know how that how I messed that up, but or maybe I washed it a few days early. But anyway, so now now I'm washing my hair on every Thursday at the moment. And because, you know, it's Wednesday and tomorrow's Thursday, I'm like, whatever. But anyways, I just keep talking. This video is already so long. I promise I'm going to shorten it the best that I can. For those of you that stuck around, thank you so much. I appreciate you. I love you. Remember, I do hope that you have a wonderful day. Remain awesome and peace out, awesome girl.